Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here, and we're on almost a farm again, and we had a little bit of an update to the map that just happened here recently. Cat64 decided we needed a few more awesome things here, and one of those awesome things was adding some more crops for us. Alright, so I was speaking to the manager down at the store, and for those of you that don't know, we got a new store. They rebuilt it completely from scratch. It's a Claw dealership now. And the manager was like, hey, I got some equipment. Would you like to use it? And I was like, you mean like just borrow it? He said, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Take it. Yo, we got some new claw stuff. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's check this thing out. This is what it right, is right here. We got the saddleback. So this right here is actually going to be like a, a sprayer, right? So we've got slurry in here. We've got a cultivator on here too. We went ahead and purchased this new field right here. We got rid of the other two that were up there on the hill. And we bought this big round one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, oops, <laughs> I need to uh, unfold it. There we go. So we're going to go and unfold this. So it's going to be a slurry spreader and a cultivator at the exact same time. So I'm going to go ahead and run a couple headlands here, and then we're going to get the uh, worker on it, and then I'll take you guys over and show you the, uh, is it doing it? I think so. My slurry's not going in though. Where is it at? There we go. All right. So. We've got, um, yeah, so I'm going to take you guys for a tour on everything else, what it looks like, and uh, we got some pretty cool stuff here that he's going to go ahead and let us use, so I'm really excited to do this. Um, I'm not sure what crop is going to go in here yet. We're going to talk about that here in a minute, because I've been talking to some of the sell points around here, and they've got a little bit of a challenge for me, but first thing i got to do is go ahead and finish this up here. We're going to take a look at where our former crop or our crops that we already had in the ground what their status is right now too and then we'll talk about what we're going to be doing in the future here on this map so i'm really excited about what we've got going on but let me go ahead and man, look at this thing just go it's like a bucking horse <laughs> it's awesome i love how we're able to spread this uh slurry down so you know actually while we're over here let's go ahead and take a look at our mini map and see what it looks like as far as our fertilizer because we should be getting a little bit of fertilizer in the ground and it doesn't look like we are are we even spreading any you know I was doing all this and I don't even see that it's even putting any in the ground right now that is odd let's take a look over here at this map so nitrogen I should be putting down a few points huh well, I don't know. Let me um, let me figure this thing out, and I'll be right back. All right, so I got to figure it out, everybody. What you have to do on this mod here is just hire a worker. <laughs> Apparently, the front tank. Now, let me go ahead and turn the worker off here. I want to go ahead and show you guys. So, what you have to do is make sure that everything is lowered down. All right. So, we are gonna go back here, and we're gonna lower this down. All right. We're gonna turn it on, and we're gonna come back here to this one, turn it on. They're going to come up to the front one and turn it on too. And as you can see, as we start going across this, my slurry numbers are going down. You can't see it really well, but there you go. So you have to have all three pieces of this equipment on for it to be able to do its thing. Now, this is, like I said, the uh, the cloth. It's the saddleback. So we're going to be looking at this in a little bit more detail once we get over to the garage because we've got a couple more pieces of equipment sitting over there that are really, really interesting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and complete this whole circle once more. And then um, we'll get a worker on this. And then uh, we'll get over there. So I just got to make sure I get this all fertilized. So I'll see you guys over there at the barn. All right, so we got that bad boy right there uh, filling up. It's It's got some, I won't say issues. It's a little finicky. So what else do we have? So like I said, we did a little bit of a redesign here. Update. We've got three grain or uh, storage halls here for our sugar beets and potatoes so we're definitely good on that um, this right here this is actually going to house our carrots and our onions and our tomatoes for a while this one here the regular one is going to hold all the other um, grains and things all the other normal crops is all going to go in there so what kind of equipment do we have well we've got all of our regular headers again uh, we picked up an extra one though and that's tomatoes um, we've got the lime cart, we've got the plow, we've got the scout, and we've got 
a nice planter here. You know, this is the uh, the Veristad. Or, uh, I'm sorry, not the Veristad. The, um... Oh, we'll look at it here in a minute. I can't remember the name of it. It starts with the V. Um, we got the potato planter here. Nice, regular uh, six, million, 6 meter wide. And in here, we got some nice, nice looking equipment. Now, I said we were a Kloss farm, right? Oh, and we are Kloss. <laughs> we got the sugar beet harvester. They went ahead and gave us one here that was painted up nice like a, uh, a Kloss piece of equipment on the Teradoss. We've got a nice Kloss uh, Tucano 580. We've got a normal header sitting back here on a header trailer, custom built for it. We've got the nice corn header. Now, it's not super wide, but it folds up really, really well. Really well. We've got a nice Kloss right here, the Axion 870. This one's a really nice tractor. It's the only tractor on the farm right now, actually. And then we've got the TLX 9000 painted up, Kloss colors with the lizard belly dump trailer painted up the same way aggro tires on it so we're gonna be able to go in the fields no problem now what else do we have we've got a couple more saddle tracks here this one here is going to be a fertilizer spreader now i know it looks like a mineral fertilizer spreader but it's actually just going to be organic compound um we're not using manure it's a different type of fertilizer but it's not mineral and then this guy over here this is the uh the Vaterstad. That's what that planter is over there, too. And we've got a nice planter on the back of this. It's only an eight row, um, but it's really, really nice. I enjoy it. I'm going to be able to get down everywhere that I need to go. Seed tank is up there. Absolutely enormous. We've got an extra seed tank here on the front. Whenever I hook it up, it goes back to the back, dumps in there, and then we're good. I'm just carrying this so we have a little bit extra in the field. And the other planter, uh, or the cedar, over there is going to do the same thing. It's an eight meter wide cedar. Um... So we're going to be able to knock out some big fields. And that's kind of the plan, is to expand our fields a little bit bigger than what we have right now. Because right now, you guys know that we have the field over there that we had before. It's got potatoes in it. We have the field over next to the trees that has carrots. We have the big field back along um, that we were working on, I think, last episode, wasn't it? And that's going to be carrots also right now. We've got the round field over there, so that makes four. Technically five if you want to look at that one uh, we combined. Combined. And then right back over here, there's a little grass field. And we're going to do something with it, too. I think we're going to combine it into this field here and make it just one big long field all the way up and down. That way we can get just a little bit more out of it and the machines aren't having to turn around as often. So, I said a while ago that we were going to be talking about the crops. And let me go ahead and pull this up. These are all the normal crops that we have, right? We haven't really been focusing on them too much. But that's going to change. Because now we have all these extra crops. I've been talking to the uh, managers of the sell points around here. And they're like, you know, as much of this stuff as you can get us, we'll pay you. So we all got together and I was like, well, I tell you what. I'll do one harvest of each type of crop. And then I'll bring it to each one of you guys, whoever's got the best price right then. That's what we'll do. And they're like, all right, sounds good. So they're all going to be fighting, trying to get me the best price that they can. And I'll let them know, hey, this is what I've got. So as soon as we're done harvesting, we're going to throw it in here. We're going to wait maybe a day at most, and then we're going to sell it. So we're going to hopefully get through this stuff pretty quick. But as you guys can see, we have rice, rye, sorghum, millet, mustard, coffee. And these are grains, all right, or cereals. We have corn, soybeans, sunflowers. We have canola, oats, um, barley, and wheat. So those are all the regular crops there. And then on the root crop type stuff, we have carrots, onions, tomatoes, we have sugar beets, and potatoes. We're not going to be doing um, sugar cane. We're not going to be doing cotton. Those two right there, we will not be touching. Right there. Um, but everything else, we are. So I know that coffee and mustard are going to take quite a while to do. So I've got to find a field that I can get planted, and then we'll come back on the backside, hopefully towards the end of this challenge and pick them all up, or harvest them, you know, because it's going to take quite a few days to get through that right there. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I've only got $38,000 right now. I do have a little bit of grain. I had some people drop off a little bit of grain for me, so we've got some of that. We're going to be having our carrots really, really soon, and that's going to be a ton of money coming in off those carrots. They're not ready to harvest yet, but as soon as all that stuff sells, we're going to be able to just go buy some new fields, process them, and turn them around and really start cranking away. And I want a decent-sized field for that mustard and coffee 
um, because I want to show a true test on that. Okay, so I don't know how big it's going to be, but it's going to be decent size. Looks like this guy over here. We got it full finally, and um, let's get it back over in the field. We're going to work on it, and we'll come back over here and figure out what type of crop we're going to put in the ground on that big field over there first. So I will see you guys when we're back over here at the farm and we got one of those other saddle trucks. All right, so I may have been wrong a while ago when I said that you just need to have everything turned on. I don't think that's true because the worker hopped in here and I want to go ahead and show you everything that they have turned on. It's really interesting because they obviously have the front one turned on. That's going to be like the pump to get everything going, you know, all through the machine and everything like that. But they only have the bottom one. I don't know if you guys can see it really well. Let me come around here. So you can see up in the top left hand corner, I've only got the back piece of equipment and the front piece of equipment on right now. So really interesting. But we're going to let this guy just keep on cranking it out. We're going to get back over there. And I think we're going to start hauling some grain. That's what we need to do. Um, kill a little bit of time here until this guy's done. And we can put some seeds in the ground. So, yeah, I'll be right back. You ever had one of those days that you just kind of wish you just stayed in bed? Yeah, we had some breakdowns. Um, I had to be over there in the field helping that worker out a little bit more with the saddle track. Nothing with the piece of equipment. Just normal breakdown stuff um the guys over at the shop were really good to get us going again but it took longer than expected so i didn't get to haul any grain but our potatoes are ready now so that's exciting i'm gonna come over here we're gonna use this awesome terados the homer right here and we're gonna go ahead and start harvesting these things i want to go ahead and get them off the field that way we can get this other field going and i'll show you what we're gonna do with that you're gonna see we've got a klaus tractor setting up there with a the plow um I'm going to use a little trick to save some time um, with a job that we need to do up there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. I believe it's already unfolded, so we should be able to just turn this bad boy on. Yep, there we go. And just get to cranking on this. We're going to bring the truck over here. Like we said, we're not going to be um, using any type of auger wagon or anything like that. We got the nice, good, uh, wide tires on the semi and the trailer so it shouldn't be a problem at all now we're expecting a pretty decent yield out of this this field isn't the greatest but we've done everything we can to get the yield up as high as we can so as you can see everything's coming out i mean we're gonna have one strip here on this and we're already gonna have i mean 10 maybe 12 13 percent on it that's gonna be exciting really really excited i can't wait to get over on the carrots especially on that field way back in the back that's going to be a really, really good crop back there. But, man, we did pretty good staying online with that. Look at that. So 13%. Awesome. So let's go ahead and turn off the harvest part right here. Raise it up. We'll get turned around. And then let me do a few more passes on this. I'm going to try and find a worker. Um, the shop said that they knew some more people. So we're going to try and have a bunch of people going. Because if I want to get this done, a uh, challenge, in any type of uh, efficiency or speed... I need as many people over here as I can. And me trying to do this and get this thing lined up properly is not the most efficient. So we're going to go ahead and get some workers out here. Um, get them going on it. And let me do some of the other jobs that I need to do manually. Setting up the field sizes and things like that. So I, uh, I'll i see you guys in a little bit once we're over on that other tractor. Alright, so here we are. And what we're doing is we're just uh, expanding this field out a little bit. We've got the other field up there on top of the hill. And I figured what better way than, or what better way to incorporate that into this farm than to expand it into this one. Now this drive right here was only used to access that field, so we no longer need it. And I'm just making a basic pass right here just to get a lot of this uh, side done. What we're going to do is we're going to come back and we're going to loop this in and make it match really, really nice and well right here with this corner. So we have a nice rounded edge, so we're coming around with a harvester or any of the other pieces of equipment. It's not going to mess up too bad on us. So I'm going to run back and get this one more edge right here. I'm going to look at maybe, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I want to go over any farther. So I think this is where we're going to leave it. But we've got a whole area up here on the other side that we need to do also. And then we're going to have to take some soil samples on it. And then come back and start working on the uh, uh, getting lime down and everything like that. So our guy over there, he hasn't given me a message yet saying that he's almost full so when he does i'm right here 
I'll be able to uh, jump over there really, really quickly and get him taken care of. And then we'll uh, get on to the next thing. And I think that next thing is going to be planting. Uh, planting or putting lime down on this, one or the other. So we'll figure it out, and we will definitely, definitely let everybody know what is going on. So we'll see you all in a couple minutes. All right, here we are, everybody. We are going to go ahead and pull up here, empty off all of these potatoes, and then be good to go. So I need to go ahead and put this out here. There we go. So, perfect. We, we've got almost 100,000 liters of potatoes here off this field. And, y'all, we just made this field bigger. I've got a little bit more work to do up there on the end, and then we will be really, really good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring this back in, and then we're going to go ahead and fold it up, stick it back over there, and wait on the next crop. And it's going to be carrots. So it's not going to be too much longer. And we put in some gates here too. I don't know if you guys could see the gate, but we put a few gates in around the farm here. But we're going to bring these uh, potatoes over. We're going to store them for right now. Price isn't going too high right now. And um, we're going to finish up the plowing job. Our worker got done taking care of the cultivating over there. So we actually need to get our cedar out too. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done here really, really quick. We're going to go ahead and get seeds in the ground, get that activity started first, and then we will uh, be good to go. So the next time you see me, I'll have one of the other cloths uh, saddle tracks over there, and we will be, uh, let me switch this, and we will be uh, putting seeds in the ground. And we're going to figure out what crop we need to do. Um, I think it's going to be a new one, an interesting one that we haven't tried out yet. So I will go ahead and uh, see you guys in just a couple minutes when we're set up over there. So here we are. We've got the nice, awesome, huge cedar combo. Now this thing holds a ton, ton of seeds. And what we've got here is the eight row planter here on the back. And what we're gonna be putting in the ground is corn. So we can do corn, we can do sunflowers with this. Um, there might be a couple others that we can do, but not a lot. Um, I think we can actually plant some sugar beets with this also. I think we can plant carrots and onions too um other than that everything else is going to be with the other one but we'll look at that one once we get over there so what we got to do go ahead and hop in this bad boy right here there we go as you can see we have 10,200 liters of corn seed in here right now so we're going to go ahead and turn it on and this one's a little bit easier all i have to do is drop it down right there see that all right so that's good and we're going to go ahead and turn it on and now we should be putting seeds in the ground. So we'll go ahead and start moving. So we'll look at our menu here really, really quick. So as you can see from right here, we are putting corn in the ground. So perfect. I'm gonna do two headlands around this and then we'll uh, set a worker off on it. Uh, because it's a circle field, I really need to get the workers set up really, really well. But then after that, they're good to go. They, uh, they don't have a problem on these circle fields, but it's just constant inputs for me all the way around this. So after this, I feel like what we're gonna do is go ahead and run over and set up the uh, new field that we have. We're gonna go ahead and start getting uh, soil samples on that, all the new areas, and then we will put lime on it. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, so we came over here. We got one more soil sample to do. And then we're going to send these things off, and then we will uh, see what we have. All right, so here we go. Boom. We're going to send them off. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what we extended out here. So there's our worker up there doing a pretty good job. So right here, this is what we extended out. If I come over here to um, this, you can see that the plowed area is what we created. Um, everything else was already existing for the most part. So we just resampled everything, so everything's going to get a brand new scan on it. So we're going to be good to go. That way, after the last crop, we'll be absolutely good. So we're putting corn over there. And over here on this one, once we get the lime in, we're going to be doing a, a special, special crop. But I don't think we're going to reveal that yet. I don't know. Probably going to have to wait until we actually put it in the ground to know. So I'm going to get this going back over here. We're going to bring the lime spreader out here and start taking care of this. Soon, hopefully, our uh, carrots are going to be ready. We're going to have to go take a look at those, too. So, let's um, get this back over here, and I'll be back with the lime spreader. 
And here we are. We're going to go ahead and start throwing this line down. Now, I know I'm overlapping really, really far over on the right-hand side. But I feel like it's better to overlap than underlap in the famous words of the shaming man. Now, obviously, I'm going to have a few spots in here from where we did some uh, work before. As you can see, it's going to be blue. So this area of the field is not going to yield me the absolute best. But it's going to be all right. We are going to make it work. And the rest of the field is going to be really, really good. So, happy about that. Really am. We're doing a little bit of a headland now all the way around. Then we're uh, just going to keep working in the middle. But that's going to be in the end of today's episode. We are going to come back next time. And we are going to focus on getting the corn, a little bit of fertilizer. All right, because we need to do that over there in the circle field. And then we're going to be taking a look at what crop we want to put here. Okay? And... I'm thinking, thinking, we're going to try one of the new ones. Now, it's not going to be mustard or um, coffee, but it is going to be a new one. Um, and the reason is because I want to do a really, really big harvest on it. I got a lot of soil types here that I want to test out and see how they, uh, all the different settings for all those crops. We've looked at them before in the testing, but I really want to see them in like real world settings. You know what I mean? So that's what we'll be doing. Um, but I appreciate you all hanging out with me here today and um, I just want to say that Kaz has reached out to me and has asked that if y'all are having any types of issues with this map at all to please contact him or contact me and I can get it to him but he is a subscriber of the channel and he is also actively um, commenting on the videos so throw a comment down below um, let us know if you're finding any issues with this map at all he has got one more update for this a smaller update that's not going to require a new game save but he's waiting a few days to hear if there are any other issues with the map so go ahead let him know down in the comments below and that way we can make sure that we get it taken care of for the next update because he plans from what i understand that's going to be the last update for this map so he's done a ton of work on this i know he's got other maps that he really needs to start uh working on a little bit more because he's got other things he definitely wants to do so i'm excited for what's in the future coming from uh, cat 64 and uh, we appreciate your help. So, like I said, either you know, let him know on his Facebook group or throw them in the comments down here below, and we'll make sure that he gets them. But that's gonna be in. That's gonna be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to be kept up to date on all my latest Let's Play videos like this, looking at precision farming, think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, make sure you hit the notification bell. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver Fifty Three. Signing off.